back tonight working to get answers for people living in West Haven who say delivery trucks and big rigs are really tearing up their street and even taking out utility poles. Viewers living on Daytona Street off of Route 1 told us about their problem. And today we talked to city leaders to find out what's going on there. News H's Josh Scheinblum has that story. It seems like the city is just kicking the can down the road. On a narrow stretch of pavement are two West Haven neighbors. We're talking about a street that's 20, 20 feet wide. One owns a business called White's Plumbing Supplies. I just don't understand, um, you know, the complaint. The other lives in a home across the roadway. I'm tired of being late to work behind 18-wheeler block of me. His name is Lewis Horner Jr. He moved here to Daytona Street three years ago, but in recent months tells us he's noticed a problem with how his entrepreneurial neighbors are bringing in goods and claims he has the pictures to prove it. What's depicted in... Um, in these pictures is a 18-wheeler up into my dr neighbor's driveway. Horner thinks it's truck maneuvers like this which are to blame for a host of problems, including a damaged driveway and shrubbery. But what bothers him the most is what the big rigs are doing, in his view, to public safety. And here's a classic example of what I'm talking about. You got an 18-wheeler and you got two buses. You're only going to have probably a foot between all of the vehicles. Horner says he's trying to resolve the issue, but to no avail, whether with the city council or those at White's. Have you ever thought about just walking across the street, knocking on the door and saying, hey, guys. I did. I, I, I have. I have. And you know what he said? I should buy these measly two pieces of property. We went across the street to White's Plumbing Services to see what they'd tell us about Horner's concerns. And we were told by the owner, Stephen White, that he's willing to pay him for any damage that may have been caused by the trucks he uses. Have you done anything proactively? I don't know how I could make it any better other than not to have any vehicles come in here at all, but I, that's, that's totally impossible. That is the problem. Brent Watt is the councilman who represents the district of those involved. He says the city is aware of the issue and they're actively working to find an outcome all can live with. I think in the spirit of being a good neighbor, um, they might want to make maybe smaller trucks come through here.